On this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating the pH of a weak base solution. In this problem, you'll be given the formula of a weak base as well as its Kb value and its concentration. We're going to start, always start these problems out by writing a balanced chemical equation, which we're going to use to make an ice table. In these equations, we always want to write the formula of the base reacting with water as a liquid. Bases are H plus acceptors, so that means that our base is going to gain a hydrogen, so it'll be going from three hydrogens to four, and it's also going to be gaining a positive charge. That hydrogen that it picks up is going to be coming from the water, so the water will be losing one of its hydrogens. It'll go from two down to one, and the charge will also decrease as well. We'll use this balanced equation to make an ice table. The initial concentration of the base is 0.55 molar. Initially, we don't have any products forgot my AQ right here. We don't know how much of this base is going to react, so we'll use minus x. Um, that's how much product we'll be making as well, plus x and plus x. At equilibrium, we're going to have 0.55 minus x of our product. Remember, we're always going to assume that the value of x is super small compared to the initial molarity of the base or the acid. And so we're going to assume that 0.55 minus x is just equal to 0.55 and our products will each be x. So there's the um, ice table that we need to use. We're gonna be calculating, like I said, we're gonna be calculating the pH, which we would normally calculate by taking the negative log of H3O plus. However, our um, ice table doesn't give us any H3O plus values. It gives us NH4 plus and it gives us OH minus, but it doesn't give us any H3O plus. So that means we're not gonna be able to use this equation to calculate pH. What we can do is calculate the pOH. The pOH is the negative log of the hydroxide, OH minus, and our ice table does give us the OH minus concentration right here. So we can calculate the pOH by taking the negative log of the value of x that we get from this ice table. And if we know the pOH, then we can come up with the pH, because remember, PO, pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So let's set up an equilibrium expression so that we can solve for x. Equilibrium expression is going to be Kb. Kb is going to be our products, NH4 plus times OH minus divided by or over our reactants, products over reactants. And we're gonna be leaving out water because we always leave out pure liquids. We can plug in our value of Kb. The value of Kb is 1.8 times 10 to the minus five. The problem gave us that information. Plug in the values of our two products. They're both being represented by x, so that's gonna be x squared, x times x. And then also plug in the value of our reactant, 0.55. And now we just need to solve for x. I'm gonna go 1.8 times 10 to the minus five times 0.55, that's equal to x squared. So then I'm gonna take the square root of that, x equals 0 0.003146. That is my OH minus concentration, and that's what I'm going to be plugging in to calculate pOH. pOH is the negative log of this 0.003146 number. And be careful because this is the pOH. pOH is 2.502. Alex wants us to calculate the pH. So we're going to go 14 minus the pOH. 14 minus the pOH is 11.498. Um, Alex wants this to one decimal place, so that is going to be 11.4. I feel like when I was writing this out, I feel like I was saying 14. I might not have been saying 14. It is definitely 11.498. Uh, to one decimal place, it is 11.5.